What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am High Priestess the Oracle, aka the Oracle, and I'm back with another finger. Okay, y'all. So let's hop right on into your messages. I hope you guys are doing okay today. I decided to come back and do another reading for you guys. Um, I'm uploading a video right now for you guys. As we speak, it is uploading. So I just thought I'd hop back on and um, give you guys another reading here. My messages are timeless, so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so by hitting that bell notification button. Okay, guys, spirit guys, what do we have here for the collective, guys? What's going on today? All right. Angel, spirit guides, and the divine, I ask that you step into this reading and give us clarity and um, truth. Okay, all for the highest good. Keeping all negative negative energies out, okay? So, first card we have out, guys, is we have the five of pentacles. Earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, someone has been left out. Mm-hmm. Someone has been left out in the freaking cold. Mm-hmm. Or they're either very, very broke at this moment. All right? So let's see what we have here. That's our overall energy, guys, okay? <clears throat> okay, we have the Three of Wands. And we also have the Four of Wands. So... Hmm. Someone had been waiting here, okay? Someone was waiting uh, for a while here to jump ship, rather, to leave a situation, okay? And it was dealing with the family, or it could have been also a marriage here. But somebody had been waiting um, also to be married, to have a family, to have stability here, all right? So... Basically, what I'm seeing here, this is also with these wands here. We have uh, fire signs here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So someone has completely left someone out in the cold here. You or the other person. All right. And um, because you've been waiting to be married here. You've been waiting for something stable here. You've been waiting a long time to have a family. The Ten of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. You've been waiting. To have this happiness. Yep. The will is turned. The will of fortune is here. Mm -hmm. The will of fortune is Sagittarius, Pisces energy. So more than likely, some of you are moving towards a fire sign. I think we kind of mentioned that in the last reading that I just did. It's uploading now. All right. But um, there was a lot of fire and air in that reading, I believe. But um, but yeah, yeah, the will of fortune is here. And, and you're ready to move forward. The wheel has turned, actually, all right? You are expanding. You are moving on to give to someone else here with the Six of Pentacles, okay? Let's keep going. This is beautiful energy because even the last read, uh, it, it showed that someone was <laughs> moving towards love, you know? They didn't want to be held back anymore. And some of you out here are just not ready for that anymore. I mean, you're done with that, rather, okay? You're ready for love, right? okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. We have the Empress here, Libra energy. The Death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, so... There's someone you were dealing with that could have been a mother, another situation, a mother or baby mama situation, or you're ready to birth something new. In this situation, this is like a birthing of something and the ending of something here. So you're ready to birth something new with someone here. Yeah, you're ready to start fresh because you've ended something. Something is completely over here. Yeah, you spoke up about something. You spoke your truth. 
You stood your ground. I saw the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you really spoke up to someone here about a situ about your situation here. Yeah. You ended something with someone that was just holding on to you with this Four of Pentacles. Holding tightly. Not able to let go. Mm-hmm. Holding on to you for stability here. Financial purposes. We also have the Page of Swords. They were also spying on you, watching your every move. Whatever you did, okay, whatever you were doing, whatever the situation was, they were right there. They were right there watching every bit of it, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, could have been a mother or it could have been some female or it could have been a male in your environment here. Queen of Cups here. And we have the Two of Swords. Okay. So there was there was someone here, someone here in your environment that um, tried to maybe come in very nurturing and caring and loving, just to keep you at a crossroads. I feel like this person has been spying so much that they're at a crossroads at this moment right now. Okay. Also, too, you're holding on to someone here that you're really in love with. You've been watching them online. They could have an online platform, you know, social media. They could be a star in some way. And you've been watching them. You're in love with them with this Queen of Cups here. You're in love, okay? And I just feel like you're, you, you've just been just kind of in two minds about the situation as well. But someone here is definitely um, confused right now. The person you were dealing with. We have the Nine of Pentacles that falls on top of the Two of Swords. We also have the King of Pentacles that, um, let me show you the Nine of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the King of Pentacles that falls. Okay, this is um, Earth Energy here. Um, it falls on top of the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords here, the Death card. So what I'm picking up instantly here is that um, you want to be stable with this person. You want to give this person a ring, okay? You want to be their stability. You want to be loyal. Um, you want to be committed um, because you've ended something with someone else. Also, too, um, like I said, you could have ended something here with a Scorpio. You could be an Earth sign here in this situation or have Earth in your chart. You know, you know, you guys get where I'm going with this. Um, but you want to be uh, stable with this person. We have the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is total stability. This is being set, okay, being financially stable and, and, and just being stable in many ways here. All right. And this is who you want to be with. All right. You're, you're ready to bring in stability to someone you love because you're free. You're independent now. You're able to do whatever it is that you want to do. You have been at a crossroads for so long about the situation. Right. Mm hmm. Yep. Reason being, we have the high priestess that falls on top of the nine of pentacles. Um, the thing is that there, there were so many secrets. There were so many things hidden. There were so many people working against you. Okay, all right. Also, too, you've been keeping a secret, and that secret is the fact that you're in love with somebody here, all right, and you haven't told them yet, all right, but you're ready to now. You're ready to rush in and speak your mind, okay? Yep, you are king of swords, energy, Libra. You could be a Libra here, okay, or you could be dealing with the Libra, all right? All right, this is air energy here. I'm not saying this is, you know, it could be, I'm just, it came out of my mouth so it very well could be a Libra, but it's definitely an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Okay. Ready to speak their truth. Yeah, the will has turned. The will of fortune is here. Sagittarius, Pisces energy. Yeah, page of pentacles. Mm-hmm. And then we also have the six of swords. So... Um, so yeah, basically you're ready to invest, start fresh here. You're ready to invest in someone now and you're moving towards that person. You're, you're going to invest in someone. You've also, um, invested in possibly a property here. Um, and you're moving, uh, towards that, right? 
whatever you've put money in and time into, that's where you're headed now. I mean, it, it's available now for some of you, okay? You're, you're moving on from water, from shaky ground, and you're going towards a marriage or a commitment here with the Hierophant. Yeah, the Empress here. Yep, husband material. Yep, Aries energy, okay? So you are the other person. Somebody here is ready to be a husband, a father, a provider, everything. They're ready to take control of the situation now because they have made an investment in something, okay? They made a choice in who they want to be with. The lovers is here, Gemini energy. Yep. This is public victory, victory and success. Six of Wands has fallen on top of the Emperor. So, oh my gosh, yeah, this is victory. Like I said, there's a lot of fire here. You guys could be moving towards a fire sign here. Okay. You've been patient. You've been patient long enough. <laughs> You've been patient. Yeah, the Page of Cups falls on top of the Six of Wands. This is offering of love. You want to offer love to somebody here, point blank, okay? Okay, there is an offer of love on the table that you want to give to someone. Give me a second, guys. Do, 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 do one second. All right, let's keep going. Oh, wow. We have the King of Wands. Beautiful. You have your eye on somebody here. You know, you could be a fire sign. They could be a fire sign. Like I said, there's a lot of fire energy. There is. Okay. All right. Wow. You have your eye on somebody here who's who you're very passionate about. You've had sex with this person as well. They want me to point that out. I feel it and I see it. You've had sex with this person and it's it's been the bomb for you. You're like, this is the ultimate place to be like overall, like with everything, like everything you like. This person has a business or they work for themselves. They, they, they're beautiful. They're sexy. They're hot. You also are very attractive yourself here with this King of Wands. The person you're going towards is very beautiful and you're ready to take charge. You're ready to take action towards this person. There's chivalry, there's compassion, there's kindness here. Um, there's so much passion. Like, you're so smitten with this person. Wow. Oh, you're losing your mind too. Oh my gosh. In a, in a good way though. We have the King of Wands and then we have the Tower here. This is sexual energy. The Tower is, you know, um, the, the, the phallic, male phallic or the, the vaginal area. Okay, in some cases, guys, you, 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 you've been holding on. You're about to explode sexually here as well. You haven't had sex in a while. A lot of you have not had sex in a while here. Okay, join the club, right? <laughs> Look, and you're losing it. You're losing it because you know this is where you want to be. You're like, ah, damn, I need to communicate to this person. Eight of Wands, and quickly. Also, this is uh, sexual energy here too with this Eight of Wands. Wow, somebody might, um, there might be a pregnancy for somebody out here as well coming in so if you're not exactly ready for the baby <laughs> strap it up because i feel like uh it's coming for somebody like this somebody here is ready for the ultimate i just said somebody's ready for a family marriage everything okay so somebody's been holding it in but they're coming in to communicate yes we have the two of cups this is soulmate energy this is a partnership this is it this is their relationship here and you're going to take that risk with the Fool card here, okay? Aries energy. There's a lot of Aries energy here today, y'all. Woo! A lot of fire energy, rather, okay? But something's coming in great for you guys, obviously, here, okay? This is it. And, and for those of you who are, are not able to have children, this message, that part of the message may not be for you. But, I mean, this is for somebody out there who, who is able to have children. Okay, by the way. Because I know some people might be like, oh, well, I can't, I can't have children or I don't want children. You know, that kind of thing. But for those of you that do, your opportunity is here. Somebody's coming. I just saw the chariot. And they're coming in fast. Oh, Wow. Yes, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is here. It falls on top of the King of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. 
and it is hitting the Empress card here as well as the Queen of Cups. Two things, okay? There's someone here that you were giving to, that you were spending a lot of money on. It was a lot of money coming into a household, but that's no longer. Now, you'll, you'll be able to build um, family wealth with your new person, the right person. This other person was just using you for money, okay? But this new person that you're moving towards, the one that you love, that's nurturing, that's caring, um, who's sexy, who's vibrant, who's beautiful, who's smart, who's spiritual, who's highly intuitive, this is the person that you're moving towards to build your legacy with. Yep, and you're going to take that risk with the fool card here, all right? Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, soulmates are here. Two of Cups. Whew. And guess what? With this Ten of Swords, it's like you have been held back for so long. Someone had someone backstabbed you so freaking bad here. Okay? So freaking bad. All right? But now, that's over. You're, you're, you're done with being held back here. All right? And you're going to message somebody. Woo, y'all don't see this, how this card, look how it flipped, y'all. I just want y'all to see this for yourself. This is how the card flipped on me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is the devil card in reverse, Capricorn energy. You're done with the devil. You're done with toxicity. You're done with evil. It's over, okay? You're no longer bounded to the devil. You saw that with that ten of swords, somebody really backstabbed you. Somebody was really trying to hold you back. You've been held back long enough from this two of cups from your soulmate. You've been held back long enough, and it's over now. Yep. You've blocked the devil. You've blocked a karmic situation. You've blocked something that was very toxic in your life, in your world, because it was keeping you bounded and stuck here with the hangman. Yeah. Good for you. Yep, the tower is here. The tower. Scorpio, uh, Aries energy. Um, the eight of wands and the nine of wands. So yeah, the tower is pushing you to communicate to somebody. We already spoke about the sexual energy with the tower here and the eight of wands. Like you're losing it, you're losing it, you're losing it. Okay, but you're ready to communicate to somebody now. It's time, you're being pushed and you're ready. You're going in to communicate and you're hoping that you are not blocked. You're hoping. You're really wishing. Okay? You're hoping you won't be blocked because you are having this crazy thing because this energy, the Hierophant falls on top of the Tower and the Eight of Wands. You're ready for a commitment. The Divine is also here pushing you to go towards your marriage and commitment right now. You're being pushed. Okay? This is also Taurus energy here. All right? Yep. Page of Wands. Go ahead and send that message, homie. What you waiting on? What y'all waiting on? Send the message. It's time. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Beautiful energy. These readings are beautiful. Yes. Uh oh. Yep. Yep. Abundance is here. Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. And the Judgment Card. Yep. You are ready to build your family. Ultimately, you've made the Judgment Call. You've been keeping this a secret for way too long. The Moon Card is here. Pisces, Cancer energy. All right? And you're ready. You're ready. Okay? You made the judgment call. You're just hoping that you're not blocked here. The Nine of Wands is showing up twice here. We have two Nine of Wands in this deck. But anyway, you're, you're ready. Okay? You're just hoping that you're not blocked. All right, Spirit Guides. Will this person be successful with moving towards their partner here now? Will they be successful? Yeah, you can't stop thinking about this person. You've had a lot of choices to make. Seven of Cups here. You're daydreaming. You're thinking about this person. Yes, you will be successful. It's falling on top of the Ace of Coins here, the Ace of Pentacles and the um, the Ten of Cups. Yes, you're going to build a family. You'll be able to give her or him this ring. Okay, it's here. Family is here. Abundance is here. Everything that you've ever wanted. This is the truth. The Justice card. The Divine is here. Libra energy. You could be the Libra in the situation here. Libra is coming towards you. Yes, this is it. This is your time to shine. Look at the bottom. The cycle is complete. That old cycle, the world card shows up again. It showed up in the last reading. Okay? Beautiful. Yep. 
Well, it's time, guys. This was absolutely an amazing reading, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will uh, probably upload another video for you guys today. But this is beautiful energy, guys. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Love you guys. Peace.